All right, everybody, so hello, hello. Welcome back to my studio. So today I am going to um, make an envelope and I got these envelopes um, on Amazon and honestly, um, I'm trying to just test out the paper because I love craft envelopes and I used to make all of my envelopes with these, um, this type of paper, I think. And they were like the easiest to do because they were already made. I didn't have to make them myself. Um, the one thing that's different is that the ones I used to use previously were, had like a V flap. Let me try to find one. I ran out of them a while ago. And I think I only have like one left from my last stash. Oh goodness, let's see. This is the one new. And honestly, um, it was like the best craft envelope that, I, that I've ever like used. I really, really loved them. It was this one. And so I think it's even, this one's even smaller maybe. No, it's the same size. It's just on the front was a flap. So this was one that I used um, back in the day. And I, I'm trying to test to make sure the paper is similar. I think it's a little bit different. This one is still heavier. It feels heavier than this one, but this is the closest I found to this type of paper. So I'm going to test it out and see if it actually does the same thing as this one does, because if it does, we might be in business in terms of like something to you. So I'm just going to play around tonight and just see what I can create with this. So I'm going to use some inky business here. I'm going to use some oxides. I have pine needles and rustic wilderness. And so I'm just going to play and see what I get. So I'm starting out with some rustic wilderness and I'm going to put some pine needles kind of near it on my and I'm going, let me use this one. I'm just adding some water. Uh-oh. My bottle is clogged. Let me just poke a hole in here, make sure it opens up nicely. Hopefully that does the trick. I see some bubbly things happening. And I'm just going to grab my, my envelope and just sort of kind of play around and see what I get, honestly. I just want to see what it does with the inks, if it's going to actually add some more water here. If it's going to actually play nice with me today or if it's going to act crazy. Again, I'm testing the weight of this, honestly. This is, again, what I'm doing. I want to see if I can beat it up and if it's going to take it. All right, let's see here. I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to grab some other paper and kind of play with this and grab that ink up because I don't want to waste my ink. So let me just grab that really quickly. I always tell people that you want to not lose your ink. You want to use like a another sheet of paper to pick up ink off your mat because um, you can use this stuff later on. You don't wanna waste your ink. So I just always have some sort of backing paper that I use to just mop up my inks and just sort of start another sheet um, kind of going there. So that's what I'm doing here. And I can use that for like um, things like What's it called? Like when I'm making a taggy stack or whatever else. I have ruined this thing already. I need to get another one at some point, but whatever, it works fine. Okay, so let's see where we're at with this. Now I can dry some of this on. Yeah, this paper is not necessarily the toughest, but I think it's like one of the closest I have found to um, 
to this this one. I mean, this one. It's, this is like the perfect weight, and it's like, oh my gosh, if I could find these again, I would love to. I got these off of Amazon, but I cannot find them anywhere on Amazon. They don't sell them anymore, and I'm gonna keep looking though because I love, <laughs> I really love those. All right, so this is where we're at with this one, and I didn't really have an envelope idea in mind that I wanted to work on. But I wanted to send something out this week to somebody to encourage them. So I said, uh oh, I think my thing's about to die. Nope, we're still kicking. So I said, I'm gonna just sit down at my desk and just work on something really simple to send out to people. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna mop any extras up because let's see if this will hopefully not rip, Lord. So do you see that deliciousness? Yes, 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 we do. Okay. Um, let me grab a stamp set to play with tonight and we'll kind of go from there and see what we create. So this is kind of fall, right? It's fall season. And so maybe we can do something with a little bit of a fall theme kind of going on. Yeah, what do we think? Let me see what I have in my my ideology stuff first. Let me kind of go from there. So I've got some florals. Do I want to do florals? Not really. Those were not open. Maybe. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. Maybe we'll do something with that or that. I think I'm gonna try to do something else with that. There's a butterfly. We've got a butterfly. Got these bad boys back. The only thing that makes me nervous about these ones is I don't know how they're going to work when it comes to opening up my envelopes. So a lot of times I will open these up to um, create windows. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So I think, I don't know, again, these are the best. They're, I mean, it's just, the weight of it is just amazing. It's a hundred pound craft paper envelope. This one I believe is, so that one is like a hundred, the other one is a hundred um, pound or 150 GSM. This one says is 148. So it should be very close. And, but I can definitely tell those two missing um, GSMs, <laughs> whatever the GSM stands for. I can hear it. I mean, I can feel it. I can feel the weight of it being a little bit off or maybe it's just because of, maybe it's because it has, no, there's definitely more of a give on this one. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is the closest, so we'll just kind of go with it. All right. So we have that. I'm going to put some, um, additional colors. I'm going to put like a pinkish color on here. Let me grab um, some, a pink, like a, what color do I want to use? I don't really want any sparkly things. So maybe, may, oh, maybe I'll try a sparkly thing. Let's see what we got going on. Maybe some, okay, I think I see one. I'm using the Chess Mica uh, stain in Cocktail Party. And I'm just gonna try to just add some colors onto this. Just a little bit of pink. All right. So hopefully it doesn't go too crazy on here. So let's just That's good. <laughs> Not too nuts. So now I kind of want to add some orange because, well, we have orange in our, um, our butterfly. So let's let that settle for a little bit. Just a little bit of more color, you know, something kind of just to add a little bit of shenanigans. 
to it because why not? Shenanigans are always fun, right? Okay. We're going to do a simple envelope here today. Alrighty, so there's that. I'm going to do this one. Um, I'm definitely going to cut this in the middle into two. And okay, let me see what I can find in my ephemera book here in terms of um, let's see if I can do this one. It'll be that's kind of too. I don't know, I want a different color. If I could find a different color in this one, that would be great. Or smaller. Great, let me put this one out to the side. Let's see, we see, eh, I'll pull this one out. Let's see here. Okay, so here's a lot of my, I don't know. Um, maybe a little bit of a lighter. One, no. This might be a good one to and from. I think I like this one. So this one has, can you see that on there? It's like two from, it's like a luggage tag, but it has all the cool stuff on there. Oops, it's too dark. All right, so we're gonna, I think we're gonna go with this one. We're gonna layer that with something else. So I can put this one back. I'm gonna find something to layer that with. Let's see if I have anything else in here. I think I'm gonna keep it this way. I think I'm gonna go with this. I'm going to move this over to the side. Um, I'm gonna distress this one. I'm going to cut these in half and put them on the sides. And then we're gonna just kind of build it, whatever, and see what we get. Okay, so I'm gonna, I will need some snippets. So I'll grab those in a little bit and we will use that. Okay, let me grab something or another and kind of build this from here. So we have our front like that and okay. Using walnut stain to just add some dimension to this around the edge of it. So it stands out a little bit against this back one. Okay. And I don't know if this back one will even do anything because this is a, a layer. So it's a little bit glossier and thicker. Um, you can put that on here like this. Now, a lot of people are gonna ask me, well, where are you gonna put the, the address? On this one, I can put it on here for sure, okay? But sometimes I'm not able to, and that's fine because I, I typically don't mail out my envelopes anymore, like just by themselves because the post office gets a little bit persnickety with me. So we're not gonna do that anymore. They don't really like my envelopes just out. I have to put them in something else now because they get mad at me. So cutting this in half, 
I'm going to just do the edges a little bit just to kind of distress it as best as I can. Can so it's not um, stark like um, white against that. All right, so then we're gonna stick these underneath here to create some wings for that. And I already love that, love it. So I'm just going to glue this down. This is not even straight, I don't think. All right, I'm going to glue this down. Uh, if you guys don't know, I have a thing for hot glue guns. And people over at Instagram always are yelling at me because they can't understand why I'm using a hot glue gun on my stuff. And I always tell them because I can and because I like them. <laughs> so if you are somebody who does not like the hot glue gun, I am sorry, but you're about to get really mad at me all the time because I use them all the time. For all the things that I make, I use a hot glue gun, just about everything. So, sorry. All right, and then this one can go down here. A little bit there. I wonder if I should if I should make this. Um, I think I'm going to add some dimension to it and um, do it that way. Okay, there's that so far. That's what we got. And I think I wanna put somebody sitting on here on the side of this and also some um, snippets. So let me grab my situation again and go into my little book here. I can already tell that I'm gonna want I'm gonna want some things up here as well. So like something like that maybe. I'm gonna keep that one out. If I find a different color, I'll grab that one. And, oh, I said I was gonna try to do mushrooms on the side of this. Maybe some mushrooms. have brown up there one color that I really wish these um, snippets had all the all the time would be like a lot more reds and because I feel like I don't have enough reds and I really want more reds of these there's that one and I think maybe down here, I can put one more over here. All right, I'm kind of liking this. So I'm gonna move this out of the way for now. I'll probably be back in here though. I know that for sure. All 
All right, I'm gonna glue these down, but I wanna distress these first before I put them down. So the plan is, you all, the plan is for us to um, work on encouraging people every week, right? And so we are magic keepers in these parts. And so the goal is to send something out to people once a week um, to spread a little magic out there in the world. And I, um, that was a little bit too much on that one, but I am hopefully, hopefully I'm going to do more of these without feel. I'm going to try to do this once a week, but we'll see because life be lifing sometimes y'all. It's hot out here in these streets trying to do the art thing sometimes. When you are a mama bear and you've got boys who are playing sports and you're trying to do all the things but you know what mama bears deserve time as well to do and chase their creative pursuits so I'm gonna have to be speedy fast speedy fast <laughs> is that a word I'm gonna have to speed through these sometimes we're putting this one up here. How was that? I do this one. This up here. We're gonna do this up here. Okay. And then this one will be. This one. Up here. Oops. Cool beans. So here's what we got so far. I like it. But we still have a little bit of, of ways to go. I'm going to grab some stamps and then we will stamp some stuff down and do some additional thingamabobbers and then we'll be done. Okay, for tonight. One second, let me grab a stamp set. I forgot. I forgot that I said I wanted to do a little person on there. So I need to go in here and find my miniature. Um. Um, should I do a little family of people, guys? What do you guys think? That might be, I don't ever do that. I always do like the girls on there. So it might be kind of interesting to have like a, a family of like guys, like, well, he's kind of sitting, where is he sitting on? He needs to be sitting on something. No, then maybe not. Maybe I want a girl standing up, you know? I always do like the guys. No, that's, I don't want to cover all of that. I really like this one though, honestly. Meh. Yeah. 
Okay, I think we're gonna go with this, these little, these little tiny peoples. And we're gonna have to color their outfit because we just need to add some color to that, you know? And all my markers just fell out of the bin. So we're gonna grab markers. So I think markers are the easiest one to do with these right now. Because I don't feel like gessoing anything and whatnot. So we're gonna color her outfit a bit pink. Can I, I don't think I can see that, good Lord. If you guys have not seen my how to color your paper dolls video, I have a video um, that I posted last week about this. So um, if you wanna know how to do this, you can go and follow that or watch that video and see how to color your paper dolls to dress them up a little bit. Um, and whatnot. Let's see if I can get this off. There we go. All right, so these are tinted. Oh, I need to do a little bow in her hair. And then I'm gonna try to add some, um, I'm gonna try to add some purple and pink to their outfit here. And my gel pens. There's hers, and I don't think I have any purple on the other one, but I'm gonna have to find purple, purple for her outfit, for this one's outfit, but let me grab some purple. I'm gonna glue them down, actually, while that's still wet. So let me, let me grab my pen, and then we will come back and glue that down, and we'll be done. got another color here that is not wanting to oh there we go this is a not a neon purple so we're gonna just do this this way And I think I'm gonna do her bow in um, this pink color here. Give her some earrings there. And we're going to just glue her down, glue them down onto this. So let me just add a little bit of glue here on the back of this one. Don't burn my finger, maybe not. There's that. So they're there and all right, now I'm gonna stamp some stuff. So I think what I wanna do is I wanna stamp, did I? I think I need to glue this down because I'm gonna leave that there. 
So I think it looks, does it look nice there? I think it looks nice there. So we're gonna glue that down. And, um, kind of go from there. There's that one. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some florals to this. Um, I need to get some a stamping block. I think we're gonna add a little bit of florals to this edge over here. Just on the corners, nothing too crazy. And which one did I say I was gonna do over here? All right. Um, just like right here. Oh, I'm using Exquisite. This is a Halloween, I think it's a Halloween stamp from last year from Tim. There's a little bit of that. And we're going to do it again. On this side. I think I actually want to do the whole entire thing now. like the front flap and everything too. Okay, so just, wait a minute. I need to add some more. I feel like I'm gonna have to put this in my Misty because I already know, well, maybe not. It might be a little faded, so Put that in your Misty if you need to. All right, so we're gonna just do this one. Like this, and that's really, really close to the, the other one, but that's okay. Because, oh man. That's really beautiful, look at that. Yes. So when you fold it, it kind of just has this on here and then in the front, it's kind of already there, which is always lovely, right? Love that. And I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do some, a couple stamps over here, like this bottom part, but I wanna finish this little bit over here. So that way, it doesn't just look like we just stopped there. And we want to stamp the front as well, too. Oops. All right, let's see here. I think I just ghosted that. Oh man. No, it worked. Yeah, I ghosted it a little bit. All right, so there's that one. And I want one down here on the bottom. And then we should be okay. Just do it this way. I think there's ink on this one. I hope there's ink on it. Yeah. So now we have that, some stamping, a couple more stamps that I want to use on this one and then we will be good to go. Um, one of my favorites, eccentric as well. I want to add just some stamps on the bottom here. I think so. Just right here. Yeah, 
And then that should be good for that one. Stop. And what else? Something small on the. Is that all I want to do? Oh, I got to do the front as well. I think just, um, these stars are amazing. I'm just going to do some stars in the top portion there. All right, cool beans. There's that. And so we got, and I want to do on the top, on the, the front here a little bit. And then we'll be good to go. So I need to stamp back on here. There's that. And we're gonna leave it like that. Okay, so, so here we have our final piece, you guys. Um, I'm darkening it up a little bit so you can see it. Hopefully that's clear. And you can see our little stampings up here our collage elements over here um, and whatnot. So you're just to go here and then you can seal this up. Yeah, so I think overall, honestly, overall, this um, this envelope works all right. Again, I have my favorite, but I'm not gonna fret because it works you know, pretty decently for me with this one. So yeah, if you um, made something, hopefully you can add some goodies in here to send to somebody this week to encourage them and make their day. So I think that's all for today. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Um, so hopefully in the meantime, you guys can live your life encouraged and work really hard to make somebody's day, even if it's just one person, make their day. Okay. All right. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thank you. See you next time.